you're here. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to my live. Oh, big deep breath. It's hard work, you know, all these workouts, all this dancing. Um, can see Holly you joining. Thanks so much. Um, for those of you that have not been here before, if you are brand new, type new in the comments because I want to meet you. If you have a question, type it in all caps because it will make me easier to find that when I respond to your questions. And if you've not been here before, look, this is Tea for 10 with Scissors Paper Paul, where I go live for 10 minutes. And uh, hopefully you join me, which you have today, which is awesome. And we're going to make something. Um, but ultimately, it's a cricket chat. So ask me all of your cricket questions. I'm here to share my product knowledge and expertise with you so that you can make beautiful things. Um, but today, I'm really, really excited because today we're going to be talking about print thin cut stickers but with a little bit of a twist. So let me know in the comments if you've worked with print then cut or often it's called print and cut, but effectively we print something on our printer and we cut it on our Cricut Maker or Explore Air machine. Um, all right, let's check out some of the comments before we get started. Lee, welcome. So Lee, I think you're all the way in the UK, I believe. So thanks for uh, joining us. Hi, Chris and Linda. Regulars, awesome. Did you have a session with Nat this morning? How did that go? Hey, mum having fun. Thank you so much. Awesome. Janine, thank you. Loving, you can follow me up anytime. I, I mean it. <laughs> um, but yes, so I've introduced myself. Also, if you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also give me a, a thumbs up or a like as well, um, because that just helps with uh, the old YouTube log logarithms and all that sort of stuff. Breaking news. We've got a bit of news this um, this, this week, actually. Um, but first and foremost, um, the competition we've got for the beautiful, I'm just going to go quickly to the overhead camera, beautiful leatherette from Little Wombat. There's a link in the description. If you are a member of Cricket for Australians, you can win or you can enter to have a chance to win um, a $200 voucher for Little Wombat uh, or um, yeah, one of two runner-up prizes of $50. So that's that's awesome. You can spend that in their shop. And we've got, we're drawing that uh, competition closes next Wednesday at so this coming Wednesday at uh, midnight Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, and I'll be announcing the winner on YouTube Thursday night, Thursday night live um, of that competition. So you haven't got much time, so make sure you, uh, if you're not a member of the group, jump in and join. If you are a member, check out the announcement section because there's also a code exclusive to those members uh, where you can actually get ten percent off in that store anyway, which is cool. Uh, lots of excited people in the group that have obviously. Entered, so that's cool. Good luck to you, Ricky. Um, also, the foil transfer kit. So we're foiling today, which is really, really cool. Um, foil me up. And uh, it's been hard to get, right? It's uh, It's been in stock. It's been out of stock. It's been in stock. So super, super pleased to announce that it is currently available for pre-order uh, at Big W, and there is a link in the description. Um, just know that it ships on Wednesday, I think, which is not far away, so the 4th of November. I think that's Wednesday. There's also a fabulous, fabulous, well, easy press news. You've got two options. You've got a fabulous bundle at uh, Costco, if you're a member of Costco, or you might want to join. And they've got a great bundle. Where you get the machine, the mat. You get, I think, three samplers of iron-on as well, which, I mean, some they're valued like 40 bucks each. Really, really great value. Uh, link in the description there as well. And also, if you're just after the easy press itself, the 9x9, nine nine, uh, at Spotlight at the moment is uh, two, it's a two-day deal, so the last day is today. I want to say it's $2.90, um, but anyway, link in the description as well. If you're in Victoria, I think this, this one's only for Victoria because we've only just had shops open for us, which is amazing. Um, if you're in Victoria and you've been going shopping, where have you been going? Let me know in the comments. Um, but uh, I think they've got the small easy press, which is six by seven inch, and I want to say it's 160. Um, anyway, that's a steal. So I think that one's in store only, um, whereas the, the nine by nine, I believe, is online as well. So check those out. Um, 
Also really, really cool. So two kind of new products for us here in Australia. Number one are the aluminium sheets from Cricut, which are now available at Craft Online. Uh, you can use those for engraving on your Cricut Maker, and you can also use them for infusible ink. So there's some really cool projects in Design Space. If you're unsure and you want to check it out, have a look in Design Space, search under infusible ink aluminium, and you should find some really, really cool ready-to-make projects to give you an idea of what are the types of things that you can do. So that's really, really cool, but also, let me go over to my overhead because Harvey Norman at the moment are rolling out exclusive to Harvey Norman the new uh, Martha Stewart range. So I've got a couple of um, samples here to show you. Um, this range though, it's, um, it's really, really cool, very unique, exclusive to Harvey Norman as I said. Uh, it starts, it's rolling out in stores now, um, but you can check it out online also. Uh, some of the lines may not actually ship until the middle of the month because that's when it's officially launched. But I just want to give you a, a bit of a preview today. But this is one of the premium vinyls and it's removable. It's matte and it's called the uh, Marble, I think. Yeah, Marble Collection. So I just opened it before because I thought I'll show you because these are really, really cool. Um... I'll definitely be doing some projects with these if you're interested. Um, but I just want to show you, so there's this beautiful green color. Again, I love this because of course I've got my son. So these are great for boys, not just boys. And again, this beautiful, looks like sort of paint swirls in the pink, which is just so pretty. And then we've got a blue marble effect as well so really really cool so you get the three sheets which are 12 by 24 inch so roughly 30 by 60 centimeters so that's the marble and then this i opened so i oh, should open this first so here we've got like a gold a silver and a copper iron on and the iron on they're matte as well and you get three sheets 12 by 12 or 30 by 30 centimeters but i was really really excited by this one so this is patterned iron on and again i'm going to show you because um, I just thought these were great and yay we're getting these for summer because I just for me these are so summery um, let me get the sticky tape off here apologies for my dog barking my partner's just come home and they're about to head off to the park but a big day today my it's my um, brother-in-law's birthday and could be my niece's birthday because my sister is about to have a baby. Uh, so anyway, these are patterned iron on, so it's a beautiful sort of motley polka dot with all of the, the colours there, the green, sort of an off-white, blue and pale blue. Um, then we have this kind of plaid, which again is in this sort of greeny, minty, blue and teal colours. Really, really cute. I love these as well. And then we've just got like a plain green and off-white sort of gingham um, pattern as well. So they are really, really beautiful. Um, so I've got a few of you loving those. Thank you so much. Wendy is at Harvey Norman Demo Marucci Door. Hey Marucci Door. Fabulous part of the world. And Wendy's doing a demo. So there's lots of demos. Uh, at Harvey Norman stores going on at the moment. So we'll roll those up and then I'll show you one more thing and then we'll get into making our stickers. Again, if you've got any questions, pop those in caps and I will get to those as soon as I can. Uh, but look at these. Pins. Yay. So these are fine points. They're point four. Uh, but what I absolutely, absolutely love about these, as you know, or if you don't know, I'm a card maker. And uh, these are perfect Christmas colours. You've got your foresty sort of green, a lovely bright red colour, and then sort of a darker pale blue, a dusky sort of pink, and then a really sort of, again, I'll call it like a dusky bright green, but perfect for Christmas. These will definitely be getting a workout on all of my Christmas cards, which if you tune in on Thursday night, my Thursday Night Live is going to be all about Christmas cards. So that's Martha Stewart. Again, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I will answer those as soon as I can. But we're here today to do some stickering. And first and foremost, I just wanted to show you um, some print and cut stickers. Now, again, print and cut, this is where we print it on our printable paper, sticker paper, printed, printable vinyl, printable iron-on, 
and then we put that through typically our inkjet printer and then we can pop it onto our machine, our Cricut, and the Cricut will actually cut the design out for us. So these are just some scissors, paper, Paul stickers I made to go on the backs of cards. All right, nice and simple. These were some designs that I just thought were so cute and retro. And uh, I these are all the design space as well. And I just made these little stickers, which I thought, again, you know, sealing off envelopes for kids' birthday parties or just sticking on the card, you know, for a child's birthday, that sort of thing. I thought they were really cute. And then these, I just, I just really like these. And I printed these and I thought, again, the little... Um, snowman here the little abominable abominable snowman <laughs> um, on the back of uh christmas cards you know the envelopes to seal them things like that really really cute and also you can print out really sort of detailed cuts as well and little embellishments for cards so happy birthday you are in my thoughts little stickers that you can embellish cards with or again just pop it on the front or the back of an envelope or on a card however whatever works for you um, it's just really good sometimes just to print out a bunch of stickers so that when you need a sticker, you've got them on hand. But these are just so pretty. These came out so much better um, than I expected. And Lisa, I see that you're asking about um, uh, the Martha Stewart's rolling out to Victorian stores. Yes. So it's rolling out to Harvey Norman nationwide at the moment. But check these out. So these are print then cut stickers. Right, on printable vinyl, Cricut printable vinyl, and there's a link in the description. But look, I've actually used the Cricut foil transfer kit and tools and foils. Look at that, isn't that amazing? I just absolutely love these. And I'm gonna show you what I look for when I design these types of stickers. And I'll also show you, well, basically how to do them. And we're gonna cut some, we're gonna do the whole process from start to finish. But they just came out so much better. Well, not even better, just they just stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right. So that's what we're going to do today. For our surface, um, I did this a little bit ahead of time, but I've got this, um, just got an eyelash on it. I have this uh, door hanger, which is from uh, Laser Blanks, and I've included a link in the description as well. I use a lot of their blanks. It's acrylic and it's white. I have it in a black as well. Um, but today, what I wanted to do was I've used the Cricut Shimmer vinyl, which is like a really dainty and lovely to work with um, glitter vinyl, but it's not thick. It's really, really thin and beautiful. So good to work with. Um, some gold and then the silver blue and pink is from the cotton candy shimmer sampler so i've done that side and i just thought on the other side i'm just going to peel off um, the protective cover just using my nails don't use a um a craft knife or anything to remove these protective layers because you may actually damage your acrylic and actually on laser blanks on their website is a fabulous um i'm just peeling that off is a fabulous um blog about how to clean your acrylics so ideally you shouldn't be using alcohol because alcohol can actually call what they say they call it crazing and it means it can split and damage your acrylic um, so some warm soapy water clean dry cloths things like that but definitely worth checking out what i thought was we're going to put some pretty little stickers on here with the foil and my thoughts were as i, as I mentioned my sister will be giving birth later today hopefully i hope it doesn't drag out longer than a day <laughs> um, my niece is on her way um, but I thought you know this could be on the door hanger when she's asleep and then maybe you could turn it around with the pretty little stickers when it's like yep it's okay you guys can come in and visit me I'm wide awake all right so that's what we're going to do and let's get started firstly I'm going to share my screen Ricky, needs, you need to get your hands on some shimmer. It's the best. It comes in the best colors. It comes in bright colors, dark colors, pastel colors, reds, blues, greens, gold, silver, you know, black even. The black is absolutely stunning. Um, we're just going to share design space. Let me just pop down here. And 
Get this out of the way. So here we are. So this is my door hanger um, design. I'm just going to click customize. I will share this link once I've taken a photo in my scissors paper Paul page on Facebook. So if you're interested in this file and you don't want to have to recreate it yourself, um, you can just jump over there later on this afternoon and uh, I'll upload that for you. Um, but here we go. So what I did was I just created a dummy um, sort of template um, just out of basic shapes, a rectangle and a circle, just so that I could use that as a guide um, when I was sizing my um, door hanger here, just so I can know how big to make everything. Um, so you don't need to cut that out, you can just simply remove that. But what I'm going to do is because we're focusing on the stickers, is I'm just going to just completely remove these ones for now. And I'm going to show you when I'm searching for images, what I look for, for this type of uh, project. So I'm just going to go to images on the left hand side and then we're going to do some searching. Let me just move some things out of the way so I can see all of this. Awesome. Okay. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples before we replicate what I did with the flowers. And the first one I'm going to look for is a heart. Okay. And we can see that we've got over 6,000 results in design space. So I'm actually going to come along to um, art type on the left hand side and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to choose draw only which will show me designs that are drawn with a pen but also print then cut and that will become more apparent as we go through this process. So now I'm seeing images for hearts that can either be a design for printing or designing for drawing and let's have a look and see some of the images that we can see down here. And I can't what am I scrolling you in? Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got designs like this here on the left hand side where if I actually bring that into design space, we can actually see, if we look along the top right here in the layers panel, it has a drawn layer. So that's ideal. We could go up to our line type on the top left. We could change this to foil and fine. And effectively now it's going to foil instead of draw. Okay, but we're gonna go a little bit deeper than that, um, just you know, to show you again some more examples. So if I go into um, images again, we're still already searching for hearts. And what I wanted to show you is that sometimes, or how cute would this one be if you had, if you've got a dog, maybe you've like a, you do a, a dog gift business, um, you could write uh, in a writable font, thank you in the middle of this little um, dog sticker, <laughs> and. Uh, pop that on your packaging, you know, on your, um, you could foil that and that could seal your wrapping when you, you know, if you wrap things in tissue or box it up or however you, however you package your, your things. Um, but what I want to show you is that often we'll see designs which are, there'll be a drawn image as well as a cut image. So I'm just trying to find one here. And let's have a look. So, or we could combine the two. So maybe we like this design and we like, let's see, I just want a plain heart. I think it'd be easier to find. Try to find, so I've got that design, and then we can just find a plain heart. If I just go, if I go to cut, actually, I'll show you, apologies. I'm gonna show you something else. I'm actually going to search Christmas, because Christmas is around the corner. Okay, and what I want to show you, again, here's a really lovely design. I'm going to pull that in, um, because, again, this would be a really lovely one, which has a drawn layer, so you could go up to line type on the left-hand side. We can foil, we could change it to um, foil, and, of course, we can change the colour of the foil to whatever colour foil that we have. So again, they're sort of ready to go, um, sort of where it would foil on the cardstock. Um, this is really designed for cardstock, this one, and then it would cut the shape. So let's keep looking. Um, because I want to show you something to the reason that I choose both cut, uh, print then cut, as well as draw, is because often you'll find images like these two here, perfectly, they're side by side, so that helps me <laughs> demonstrate this. Where we've got a print then cut. Um, this is actually designed to be a printable, okay? It's just, it's already flattened, it's ready to go. 
we insert this, it is going to literally print out um, a sticker or iron on however we want to do that. But we can also see next to it, there's also a drawn image. So if I select the, both of those, and I'm going to insert them, okay, and they're different sizes. You can see one's obviously a lot bigger than the other. So move these out of the way. So what I'm going to do, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So on the right hand, um, the top of the menu, I'm going to change the height to five inches. So it's nice and big, so you can see it really, really clearly. And then with the drawn version, I'm also going to change that to five inches high. So now they're going to be the same size. If I select both of these by just dragging across both of those images, or I can hold Control or Command on a map and just click on both of them, that's going to select both of those images. And again, at the top of the menu, right in the middle there, I've got a line. And I'm going to align center. Okay. Now, they're right on top of each other. And the drawn part, not that you can really see it very well, is sitting on top of the printable image. And I know that because if I go across to the right to the layers panel, I can see here the draw is on the top of the layer and the print then cut is below the layer. So now I'm gonna select the draw layer, go across again up to the top left to my line type. I'm gonna choose foil and I'm gonna choose fine, okay? Now, that has changed it to where it's going to foil rather than draw. So if I attach, if I select both of these and go down to the very bottom right and select attach, when I go to make this, and I'll just delete this, when I click make it, it is going to firstly foil that drawn design. Oh, sorry, firstly, it's gonna print it out of my printer. <laughs> then I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna put it onto my mat. It will foil it and then it will cut it. So you're gonna get that just like with my stickers where you get this beautiful print, uh, printed it sticker and but with this gorgeous foil um, dimension and embellishment and really just make it sizzle and really pop. So again, how great would these kinds of stickers be for Christmas? And I'll just show you another one just in the search results so you can see it and then we'll go ahead and we'll make some of the flowers. So again, if I go to art type, I'm choosing draw, print then cut. And so again, a lot of these images, you'll find the drawn ones, you'll find there's actually a printable version as well. Um, so, you know, even with here, we've got other, we've got these other car images, which match as well. So if I just insert those and you can see, again, we can just obviously resize these and we could do exactly the same Thing again. So you can get as creative uh, as you like. Um, I'm sure you can come up with some really great versions, a lot better than the ones that I'm doing today. We're going to keep it really simple today. So again, back to images, I'm going to search flower. And again, you can see there's lots of drawn images and I can tell you that a lot of these drawn images, which are quite detailed, do have a corresponding printable image. So they are, would be really um, cute ones to potentially combine. Um, but what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna use these really basic, already kind of, they're ready to go. They've got a matching and uh, drawn part as well as a cutout. Um, and just to make things a lot simpler for me um, to show you, because we don't wanna make it overly complicated, is I want you to, to make these. So I'm just scrolling down to find the ones that I have. So, you know, like this one, the yellow would be perfect. Um, so we're gonna grab this blue one I don't even know if I'm grabbing the same ones. We're gonna grab this yellow one. Uh, we're gonna grab this yellow one as well. <clears throat> so that's three. Uh, we'll grab this yellow one. That's four. And I want one more. So there's some leaves here as well. So you know you can build a whole garden with these types of images. Um, I'm trying to find. Yeah, I can't find exactly the same ones, but that's okay. Let's do this one instead. So that's five. I'm going to insert them onto our canvas. Now, I'm just going to position them so that we can see them all kind of laid out here. Let this screen. Okay. Um, so, bring this one over. All right, so I don't really, I mean, these aren't really the colors that I want. If I look again in the layers panel, I can see they've all got a drawn layer and they've also got a cut layer. So if I was to click make it, 
This is not going to print out. Um, I could change it so it cuts out of cardstock with the foil on top, but I actually do want to make stickers. So we have to make these so that the computer or design space knows to send it to my printer instead. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the first one that I can see. And where I've got, it's highlighted my layers panel with the draw and the cut. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cut layer. Okay. And I'm going to change the color because I don't want it to be yellow. I want it to be more in line with the color scheme of my door hanger. Yeah. Um, now the colors, I need to turn that. Um, so the colors were like, they were really sort of, sort of dainty sort of pinks and greens and blues and silver. So I'm sort of going to go along. Um, those this thing as well. Um, so Kerry, I can see is asking. So Kerry, you're asking, are those um, flowers meant just for foiling? No, you can cut these out and draw on these with a pen. Um, you could, you know, if you don't want to draw on them at all, you could just cut out the shape. Um, you could, if you want, just to draw or foil the the, the draw part or foil part, you can remove the the shape. Um, completely up to you. But I'm this is what I'm doing. I just thought I'm going to try and foil on stickers, yeah? Um, so that's what I've done. I've changed this one to a pinky color, and then my draw layer, I'm gonna select that, come up to draw, down to foil, and I'm gonna choose fine, because I do want that sort of fine detail, and these are gonna be quite small as well. But you can go uh, medium, probably wouldn't go bold, because you, you'll lose a lot of the detail. Um, but what I also need to do, and sorry, I hadn't done this, if I select my cut layer again, I'm not cutting this out of cardstock. Okay, I'm not cutting this out of colored paper. Um, I need this to know that it's gonna be a sticker. Now normally we'd go down to the right hand side and we would flatten, but flatten only works when you've got multiple levels. Okay, multiple layers. So in this instance, we've got one layer. We're gonna go up near the line type and where it's got cut, we're gonna go across to fill, where it's got no fill and we're gonna choose print. Okay, now that knows if I click make it, it knows that we're going to print this image. So now we're going to do the same thing for each of the other flowers. So I'm going to choose this one. I'll select the draw layer and I'll go up to draw on the line type on the left hand top left foil, fine, and it's choosing gold, which I'm happy with. Then I'm going to choose the cut layer. I'm going to change the color so that's in line with what I'm wanting to do today. And then I'm also going to go no fill, where it's got no fill, I'm going to say print. And now again, that one knows that it's going to print. Choose my next one. Again, change the draw layer to foil. Fine. Um, now remember, you can um, do this on an Explore Air machine as well. It doesn't have to be the Maker. We're using the Maker today. I'm choosing my cut layer. And this time, I might just go for a lighter yellow. And then also fill print. Okay, so again, now it knows it wants to print. So I'm just going to do these other two super quickly. Up to the draw line type draw to find, choose the cut portion, change the color, let's go for a green. And then where it's got fill, we're going to choose print. Okay, and then the last one, and I'll check your comments after I've done this. So down to foil, fine. Again, I could change the color if I want to do different colored foils, but I'm happy with that. And then the cut layer, this time I'm going to go for like a little purpley sort of color. And then where it's got no fill, I'm going to choose print. So there they are, ready to go. The last thing that I'm going to do, just before I check your comments, I'm just going to resize these so they're a lot smaller. And I'm going with a width of 1.5 inches. Again, you can do whatever you like. So I'm just selecting each one, going up to the top, and where it's got size width, I'm just choosing 1.5. Okay. And then the last one. And I'm just going to check your comments before we... Uh, firstly, I'm going to show you a really cool trick when you are foiling, um, but then we're actually going to do it. Okay, you can actually see it live, happening live. So let's just, um, just going to change back to my main camera. I uh, just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, Kelly, can you choose other color to print or just the basics on that chart? No, you can choose any color as well. So just so you choose the color, I don't know if you've, done, you've obviously not done it before, um, but you can put it, I think you can even put in like the color code. So if you've got corporate colors or if your client 
has specific colors they want to use, that's fine. Or you can open up the little rainbow where you can literally just sort of drag it around and get very, very specific. Um, so great question, thank you. Um, awesome, all right. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, if you have, so I see someone hasn't done stickers at all. So if you haven't done stickers at all, you're definitely gonna learn um, something today. So let's go back to sharing my screen. Um, so here we go. So we've got our little stickers, okay, if I can move them around, whatever. But if I click make it, um, this is what it's gonna do. It's going to show me the design as it's going to print them. Um, also, I've got on the left-hand side on the top, I've got project copies. I can increase this to two or three or 10 or 100, and it'll just obviously keep um, allocating new, new pages for if it goes over one page. Completely up to you. But what I'm gonna do is, so when I first did these stickers, um, I did a whole sheet. Now, the challenge that you have when you're doing a whole sheet is that you can see on my screen there is the black border around the stickers. Now, your Cricut, um, again, the Explore or the um, uh, Maker, needs those registration marks in order to scan them and then know where your design is and where it's going to, one, in this case, foil, and then ultimately cut out your stickers. So as you can see at the moment on my screen, there's not a lot of room around them. So what I did when I did this the, the other day as a test was um, I had to cut, obviously you want to cut your foil so it's inside these, these you know, these uh, um, uh, registration marks, but also there wasn't a lot of room for me to put my tape on and stick it down um, in order to not go over those registration marks and ultimately, you know, muck the whole process up. So I've come up with a little bit of a hack and I'm gonna show you on a smaller scale today, but this will work regardless of what you are doing, okay? However many you want to print. Um, but today I'm gonna to print these ultimately on a, with a, for the demonstration, um, on a six by four sheet of foil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another shape and I'm gonna add a square, and I'm going to uh, unlock the dimensions by clicking the little padlock on the top left, going up again to the top of my menu where I've got size, and I want my width to be four inches, and my height to be six inches, okay? I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna right click on this and send it to the back, and I'm also going to change it to white. Now, that is going to effectively act as a little bit of a template for my foil size. I know that's exactly um, what's uh, going to, uh, the foil's going to fit around uh, that. And I, I, cause you don't, when you've got your tape down on the foil, you don't want to be falling over the tape cause you just won't get a good transfer onto your substrate. So now what I can do is I can just move, I'm just gonna move my flowers around on here. Again, you can do this on a larger scale if you wanna do um, you would have to cut your foil ahead of time, um, but you can do it much bigger than this. I just wanted to show you for demonstration purposes. I'm just spacing out a little bit, not that it really matters. Um, but I can see that they're, they're definitely all going to fit underneath my uh, piece of foil, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to select all or drag and um, drag it over, like drag and select all of these elements, okay? And I'm going to attach. Okay, now what this is effectively going to do is when I go into my Make It screen, okay, now you can see this little outline of my template, which is in white, so it's not gonna print, okay? It won't print that way. Uh, it's just literally going to cut in those lines, yeah? Um, and what's um, great about this, in fact, I could actually, if I detach them, I could actually, with my white back layer, I could also go up to no fill and select print as well. And then again, just select all and attach. So attaching just means I'm holding everything in place, yeah? And again, when I click make it, because I've got that fake, my little template area in there, and again, it's going to print, but it's white, so it's not gonna print any ink. It's pushed everything out from the registration mark. So it will cut that rectangle as well, but that's fine because I don't really care. I'm gonna weed all of that negative space away anyway. But because it's pushed it out from my registration lines, I'm gonna have plenty of room to put down my foil 
and more importantly, more room to apply that tape and it's not going to hinder my design. So I really, really hope that makes sense. Okay. Hey, Dr. Elo, all the way from America. Thanks for joining us. All right, so I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know um, in the comments. Uh, Kerry's asking a really good question. Um, this is a great hack for fitting images onto a whole page, so you're not wasting paper. Look, yes and no. I mean, it's the printing cut is designed to work on American letter paper. Now, I'm actually using today the printable vinyl from uh, Cricut Vinyl, which is American letter, so eight and a half by eleven inches. So I'm, I can maximize my cut. If you've got uh, A4, there is going to be wastage unless they're on YouTube. I think there are hacks and stuff. I mean, I just don't even get into that. But ultimately, we're, we're ready to go now. And uh, again, I'm just going to go back into design space. And because I want to show you this whole process, yeah? So we're going to click continue. And now we're going to send to printer. So in the screen, I can do a couple of things. One, I can choose my printer, and I actually want to choose a different printer. I'm using my Epson. I have an Epson WF7725. It's huge. It does A3 printing, I think. It's a, it's a beast, um, but I love it. But I only do print and cut with it. I don't use it for any other purpose. Um, and I'm going to also add bleed. So what bleed does, it just adds a little bit of a blur of color around the outside. So if it's not perfectly cut, then it shouldn't be noticeable because it's basically picking up um, that little safety net of extra color. The other thing that I do is I turn on the system dialog box. And the reason that I do that is because when I click print, nothing's really going to happen. But if I move this out of the way, hopefully you will see on the screen. I'm sure if this, okay. So unfortunately I can see it's not actually showing up for you to see, but behind my design space window now, I have this pop-up. And this pop-up is letting me choose the quality of my print and also where to print from. Now, I have a rear feed on my printer. And if you don't have a printer and you want one for print and cut, I suggest you absolutely get one that has a rear feed because your, meat, your materials will be able to feed through a lot smoother without having to go through rollers. Yeah, so it's not going to curl or anything like that. So I'm choosing my rear tray. And then it says media type. Now, often I would choose photo paper um, and I would choose matte if I was printing on a matte surface or gloss if I was choosing on a gloss surface. But my print is pretty good. I'm just going to leave it on auto select, but there is a quality option which defaults to normal. And I always select, move that slider up to best. Yeah, so I'm going to get the absolute best print. So I'm just going to now select print. And I'm just going to move my design space up so you can see what happens next. Um, I'm just going to go to my main camera and show you that I've actually been flattening <laughs> my uh, my medium. So this is what I'm about to put in my printer. Uh, it's a Cricut printable vinyl. Sometimes it comes a little bit curled. So I just try and just flat, get it as flat as you possibly can. And this is going to help it go through. So I'm just going to go off camera and uh, do that. Won't be a sec. I'll just put my share screen on. Alright, so that is now printing for me, which is great. So hopefully that all works. I'll just go to the overhead and we'll get our mat ready. We'll just take off the protective coating. So I've got a blue mat here. I also find that using a brayer is really, really useful because it just means that we're not having to handle the uh, printout, which has just come out. So I'll grab it. Hasn't done the best print, but that's okay. That's what happens. Nothing always just got a bit got a bit caught up there, but that's okay. So for printing cut for me, I do a lot of them. I make sure I absolutely get this right up in the top left-hand corner and really, really line everything up. But because I don't want to handle this, particularly with black and things, I don't want to smudge anything. The bray is really useful just to stick that down. Okay. We're going to open up our Cricut. Um, I'll just go back to share screen and we're going to choose our medium, which I've got printable vinyl already selected. So I'm going to choose printable vinyl 
And now it's telling me exactly what I need to do. It's telling me that I need no tool required in clamp A, which is for accessories. It is telling me that I need my uh, transfer tool and the fine tip. So I think, so I'll just show you here. So I've got my fine tip already selected in there. So it's got the one little um, stripe. And it's telling me that I need to put on my gold foil, okay? So let's do all of that. So I'm just gonna put you on the overhead. So I'm taking out my fine point blade, all right? I'm just gonna pop that down there. And I'm putting in my foiling tip. So I'm gonna foil first. And now I'm going to take our foil out of the packaging. I definitely recommend these do have like a little sticky, um, little little clothes thingy, <laughs> and um, and um, uh, I definitely recommend cutting that off because it just means when you take the foil out, you're not going to get it um, stuck. So the best thing about so the, the one thing I tell you about foiling is when you're doing it. Just make sure you're actually following the instructions on the screen because that's when you're going to make mistakes if you don't. So now I've got my foil, which I know is going to fit. Um, and we can see it there. And, and I can see as well that because I put that little template in place, I've got plenty of room to add my tape. Now I saw someone, Bernie, you're asking me if I use the fine point. I... I actually, I originally I started out using the fine point most. Um, now I'm kind of leaning a little bit towards medium. I don't do a lot with the bold. Um, so it really would depend if I was doing dainty writing or something that's dainty like this, particularly when these stickers go, like when these stickers go in the center, there's a lot of detail there. If I was to do a medium or bold, you would just lose all of that detail. So for writing, things like that, I'd probably use fine. Um, but if it was a bigger design, I'd probably lean towards a medium. Now, when you're putting your tape down, okay, now this comes with your foiled, okay, you get enough for, enough tape for every sheet of foil. It is the, the foil is attracted to the sticky um, side, I think like it's static or whatever, it draws it up. So what I do is I lower it, lower it, lower it, and I let the foil just pop up into the um, tape, and then I stick it all the way down, okay? So you're not really going to be able to see, hopefully you might be able to see, but let's just, I'm going down, down, down. And, oop, the tape just came up to me and now I'm going all the way down. And then I'm going to stick that like that. And I'm going to turn my mat because we want to make sure this is really, really taut. Okay, again, I'm going to wait until the, the foil comes up to meet my sticky. There it is. Actually, I'm going to, Yep, so I'm going to take that off and try again. Let's pull it nice and tight, making sure I'm not going over those registration marks. Yeah? And then we'll just do the sides as well. So the biggest mistake I've made is when I haven't had the tape taut enough. And I know a lot of the times we think it is, but you start to know, you can start to feel, like I can feel when the tape is stuck to the foil and that I'm actually pulling it before I stick it down. So, so it's stuck there, but not onto the vinyl and I'm pulling. There we go. All right. So into the machine it goes, and I'm gonna put the red, oh, the flashing uh, load button. So Kerry, you think I've got steady hands? I'm probably shaking them. <laughs> I shake them out on camera and <laughs> press the flashing scene. So that's going to go off and do its thing. And I'll put these away while we're waiting for that. And I'll just read some of your comments. Put my foil away. Okay. Yes, Ricky. So cutting that sticky piece off, because if you try, if you do cut a piece of foil, and I do, if I know you need a small piece, I'll cut it in half or whatever I need to do. Um, I will definitely, um, it's hard to get it in if it's got a wrangle with that sticky. And that's one of the reasons as well with foil, you don't want to get it onto your mat here on the sticky area, because if you do, because it's sticky, it will pull the foil off um, the transfer sheet. So it's just on the scan. And now it's actually doing the foiling. 
Yeah, Lisa, so you definitely want to use that system dialog box. As I say, I remember the first time I clicked it, um, and I don't know if it was just a map thing, but when I did it, I waited and I waited and I waited, and I'm like, where is the system dialog box? And it was behind my design space window. So if that happens to you, you can't see anything, just move your design space out of the way, and hey presto, you may find it's actually there. Don't worry if you uh, didn't uh, see the start of it, the replay will be available as soon as uh, we finish. Excellent, I think I've got everyone's questions. What's everyone doing today? I know my sister's having a baby, hopefully. <laughs> and I'll be going to the park after this to have some outside uh, Melbourne fun with my family for my brother-in-law's birthday. Let me know what you guys are up to. Okay, great question. So Linda, you were asking, do we need to move the little star wheels out the way for the foiling? I don't, and I don't have any problems. Um, I've seen videos from official cricket. Uh, they don't move them either. Um, if you're worried, uh, or if you are, of course, getting a transfer, definitely obviously move them out the way but I've not had any problems so it's great that's a really fantastic uh, question there um, so we're getting through I think about halfway through Julie you're doing some cooking and some crafting Deb's asking where the tool holder is from can you give me more information on that one not sure which tool holder do you mean my do you mean this tool holder? That one is from Lots of Style, if that's the one. Kerry, you're trying to cut felt. Are you cutting, do you have the maker? Are you cutting it with the um, uh, rotary blade? I know there's a few people having some trouble. Um, Ricky, you're doing crafts on decorations? I'm gonna do mine, I haven't done something to wear. I've seen Nat, what well, Nat's, Nat's already started doing her costume let's call it <laughs> um, but I've got things to do to put on the walls and I haven't started I really need to, to do it Linda you're sewing on my sewing machine um, it needs to go for a service it didn't break down but it definitely needs a service I contacted a place but they weren't um, taking uh, well basically I was, it was outside my five kilometer radius and there were no other places around me um, so I've recontacted them this week so I'm hoping I can get my sewing machine Fixed. Well, definitely, Kerry, if you have any problems, post um, in the Craftathon group. And Nat, in particular, she's an expert when it comes to the felt. Um, we'll, we'll get you there, I promise. Oh, uh, Lindy, you're doing class with Nat's Crafty Life. So, let me give us a bit of a, a, bit of a nudge. Um, if you're not following me, Scissors Paper Paul, on Facebook and Instagram, make sure you are. Make sure you're subscribed to me on YouTube as well. And likewise for Nat's Crafty Life. We do try and, you know, make the distinction between the content that we put on the different platforms. For example, files like this I share on my Scissors Paper Paul um, uh, page. Um, I don't just sort of put them out there for everyone. And only people with the link have access. Um, they're not just readily available in the Cricket Design space either. Um, so, yeah, and again, you know, give us a thumbs up. But, yeah, definitely most importantly, you know, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. All right, we're almost there, and the last stage, of course, will be cutting. We will um, we'll cut the stickers out, and then we'll do the reveal, and then I think we are at the end. Um, if you think of anything else after today, by all means, again, post it in the comments, or you can, you know, message me through Scissors Paper Poll on Facebook, uh, and I will answer all of those questions for you. Uh, if you do make some stickers and you foil, um, you know, by again, share them in Print for Australians if you're a member there. Uh, share them on my Scissors Paper Paul page if you're, if you're following me on there as well. Okay, so let's go back to the share screen just so you can see what's happening now. So it was telling me that I need to remove my foil and again, just follow the steps because the first thing I did when I foiled for the first time, what did I do? I, I, I ejected my mat <laughs> and forgot to, oh, we've got a cut now. So first step, remove the foil. So we'll do that. And hopefully, if you're on cardstock, um, you know, go gently. You don't want to damage your cardstock. This is printable vinyl, it's quite robust. 
Apologies if you can hear that noise in the background. One of my cats is incredibly noisy and uh, a couple of times a day goes through a phase of what I call, um, he sounds like he's talking. So he's going like, hello, hello. <laughs> so he's doing that now. <laughs> All right. And uh, I should have done this on, so if you let me go back to the overheads, you can see. Um, but it's uh, foiled absolutely beautifully. So I can discard the foil that I don't need. Um, the other thing it told me to do is to take out my foiling tip and put in my fine point blade, which I'll do now. Lock that in and then press the flashing C. So we've not ejected, we've not done anything else. Now we'll do the cutting. So you can see here, I've obviously wasted a big sheet of, car, of, of paper. That's not what I would normally do, but I really just, this is purely for demonstration purposes. And we'll cut those out and we'll be done. Ooh, pointy it is with the red and gold, oh, red with gold foil, beautiful. I'll tell you something else that could be really cute with those as well. Um, you might want to try, there is, if you've got red foil, the red on red, just when it catches the light, like to get a bit of that pop, that would be really cool. Um, but again, like if you're doing leaves, the green on the leaves uh, would be really nice. I think it's a subtle kind of pop of colour as well. Okay, so Lisa's asking, do I have a recommendation for sticker paper uh, if you want to use that rather than vinyl? Um, I just, this is all I really use for my stickers. Um, obviously now it's finished, I'm just going to eject um, this. Um, but if you're a member of Cricket for Australians and you search sticker paper in the group, you'll find there'll be plenty of uh, great suggestions or, or ask in the group as well. Um, someone else in the comments might be able to answer your question. Um, but what I'm going to do, you can see here I've got my little cutout in the middle, so I'm just going to weed, weed that out. You can see my little stickers revealed. I'll show you my little stickers. So you can see there, catching, catching that light. And look at that green one. It's like, it looks like it's electric. But aren't they cool? Um, so I will post some photos on my page, but I hope that was useful. I hope you got something out of it. Um, I'll just go back to the main screen. Thank you for all the wonderful feedback. Um, again, I hope you give this a try. Um, if you're bored on Thursday night, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, I will be live in, uh, on YouTube uh, again, and I will be doing my, every year I do Christmas cards, and um, this year, my Christmas cards are inspired by Jennifer Maguire. So they are her designs. I've just cricketified them. And I'm calling them cards with a twist. So there could be some dimensional elements. Um, one could be a multi-purpose card as well. That's purely my design. And uh, I haven't designed it yet. I've got, that, <laughs> I've got it in theory in my mind. So I really hope it comes together. But that's going to be really, really fun. I uh, hope you like that one. Um, I did actually, the one thing I'll show you before I go, because I didn't think we would take this long to make the stickers. I just want to quickly show you, you've probably seen my video where I made this um, beautiful line for my niece. That is a set to go with her initial for her name, which was which is this one as well, which I'd show you, but hadn't actually put it together. And today, if we had plenty of time, I was going to actually finish off the last one, but I'll, I'll do it off camera now and I'll share the photos in my scissors paper pull page. Just want to show you because again, it's another foil project. I'll show you quickly. So this one is going to have the white layer. And I'll show you over here. To move my stickers out the way. So this one is going to have just the white layer here, then there'll be a green layer in, in the middle, which I'm going to uh, lift off, and then look at this little butterfly cutout with the beautiful gold uh, foil, which is in the medium. So you can hear my cat now, apparently. <laughs> Hello. Um, so anyway, so that will be popped out as well. So it's going to be a set of three. If my sister doesn't love this, this is going to go on my wall because I absolutely love it. This, I will actually update the description because um, that's from Hey Let's Make Stuff blog. She has a set of three that you can do. Um, I use that as inspiration. I mean, it's a complete 
sort of copy, but I found another image in design space that I preferred versus the ones that she had. She's got a, a bee, a moth, and something else, but super cute. Hey, let's make stuff. Um, so if you want to do those, check those out as well. Uh, Ricky, I will definitely get my, uh, my cat on camera. He's just hilarious. So have a wonderful day, wonderful week. See you on Thursday night. And um, yeah, take care, everyone. Bye.